Find your copay at MyFlexPen.com. The board is open. Janice and Bettina are coming out to deal out two brand new decks of cards. We'll meet our new challenger on Card Sharks. Sidel Wiener. Hello, Sidel. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Why don't you tell us about yourself? My name is Sidel Wiener. I'm from West Covina, California, originally from New York. Yeah. And <laughs> I uh, teach part-time at Cerritos College and at Cal Poly Pomona, and I have a delicious four-month-old boy. Well, congratulations. Where are you from in New York? Well, originally from Brooklyn. <laughs> My wife is from Brooklyn. Did really? you know each other in the old neighborhood? No. Well, probably. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have you here with us, Adele. Thank and of course, you. you've cut the cards in front of our audience. Yes, I did. And we are ready to go. We'll start the best two games out of three with a question to the champion. Stephanie, our man on the street went to a small city in Japan where he asked 100 men, did nature intend for men to dominate women? Oh. How many Japanese men said yes? Oh, their culture is different from us, and even though we've got women's lib over there, they really haven't heard of it there too much. I'm going to say a lot of them think the men's supposed to be dominant. I'm going to say 85. Stephanie says that 85 out of 100 Japanese men said that men are intended to dominate women. Well, I think that the Japanese probably would think that the male should be dominant, but I think 85 is a little bit high, so I'm going to go lower. Well, if it's lower, you'll play your cards first, Adele. If not, it'll be 70. The actual number of Japanese men who said nature did intend for men to dominate women is 66. You're right, Sadell. It's lower. And the challenger gets a first look at her base card. You've got a four. Okay, I'll go higher, Jim. Playing the four higher. Yes, a five. Okay, I'll go higher again. Risking it higher than a five. It is a seven. Okay, three. <laughs> and we move over the freeze bar. Can't take those cards away. And, of course, you've kept Stephanie away from her cards. Sadell, here's your first question. Sidel, we asked 100 bachelors. Have you ever gone to a... Oh, I'm sure this has happened to some people. I'm, I'll be interested to find out the answer. 100 bachelors. Have you ever gone to a drive-in movie with a date and driven off with the speaker still attached to your car? <laughs> How many bachelors said, yeah, they've done that? That's probably pretty common because when they're in the drive-in, I guess they tend not to think of the speakers that much. <laughs> so... Let's say it's about 60. 60 bachelors have driven off with the speakers, 70. It's pretty common, I would think. They got their minds on other things. But I don't think that many forget, so I'm going to say it's lower. Say lower. The actual number of bachelors who have gone to a drive-in movie and driven off with the speaker is 24. Very much lower, 70. And the champion's base card is a 2. Oh, higher, higher. higher than a 2. Yes, a king. Lower. Lower than the king is a two. Higher than a two, an eight. And the champion needs one card for the first game of the match. Stephanie, we asked 100 people, should advertising urging children to eat sugar-coated cereals be banned from television? How many people said that type of advertising should be banned? Well... I don't know, but I ate a lot of candy when I was a kid, and I've got the cavities to prove it. Sugar-coated cereals. Yeah, but that's where you get them from, because I know my, I made my mom buy it. So I'm going to say that a lot of people want them banned, so I'm going to say about 60. 60 out of 100 people thought that it should be banned. Well, I don't really think that there are that many people concerned with nutrition, and so I think it should be lower. Lower. The actual number of people who think advertising of sugar-coated cereals should be banned is 61, not lower. Stephanie was very close to having it right on. Stephanie, you've got an eight. Change it. Whenever you win the question, you have the right to change it. The eight becomes a two again. It's got to be higher. For the first game of the match, higher than the two. Yes, Stephanie wins game one and $100. I think your deck about ran out of twos there, Stephanie. So Janice will deal out the same two decks of cards. Here come the next cards off the top of the deck. And now, Sidel, you need this game. You're trailing. We'll start game two with a question to you. Okay. Sidel, now, now, we've all heard the joke about the man in the locker room and his friend says, since when did you start wearing a girdle? And he says, since my wife found the girdle in the glove compartment of my car, right? <laughs> so we asked 100 married women. If you found some woman's under things in the glove compartment of your husband's car, is there any possible explanation he could give you that would satisfy you? How many women said there is no possible explanation that would satisfy them? 
Well, I know that if I found something in the glove compartment of my husband's car that belonged to another woman, I would be immediately suspicious and it would take a lot of talking to change my mind. So I'll say it's got to be pretty high. Let's say about 70. 70. You think he could find some way of getting you to change your mind? Well, there are some trusting women. All right. But Sidel says that 70 out of 100 say there's no possible explanation that would satisfy if them. My husband, he wouldn't have a chance to explain because I'd kill him first. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got to be higher than that. Higher. The actual number of married women who said no explanation would satisfy them is 74. You're right, 70. It's higher. Well, 26 would believe him, though. That's interesting. Stephanie, you have an 8. Oh, change it. Change it. Changing the 8 to a 3. A it's good change. Higher, higher. higher than a 3. A queen. Lower. Lower than a queen. A 7. Three. Three. Stephanie needs two cards for another crack of the money card. Stephanie. We ask 103rd grade children in Ohio, is your dentist mean? How many third graders said yes? Oh, they, they don't think they're mean. They just, they realize they're doing it to help them. At least I did. So I'm going to say not very many. So I'm going to say about 15. 15 third graders said the dentist is mean. I think third graders are only aware of the pain, and I think they would associate that with mean, so I would tend to think it would be higher than higher. 15. The actual number of third graders who said their dentist is mean is 14, not higher. Stephanie, again, is very, very close with a 7. Change it. Getting rid of the 7 with, oh, a king. <laughs> it's got to be lower. Lower than a king, a queen. Lower. For the championship, lower than the queen, no. <laughs> No, it's not lower, and Sadell is still in it with a king. Okay, lower. Lower than the king, an eight. <laughs> lower. Going to take a risk lower than the eight. Is she right? Yes, with a five. Okay, higher. Higher than the five, a jack. Lower. Trying to go all the way to tie up the match, lower than the jack. Yes, Sadell did it with four cards. Wow. You took a chance on that eight, and we are now tied at one to one, the tiebreaker. Three cards up there, three questions here. Question to you, Sidel. Sidel, we asked 100 married men. Very simply, did you marry an older woman? How many men said they did? Well, I think most men do marry women younger than them still, so it wouldn't be that many. Maybe about 20. 20 out of 100 men said they married an older woman, Stephanie. Oh, I still think everybody feels that they've got to marry someone younger than them. At least, I, I mean, I want to marry a man that's older than me, so I'm going to say it's a little bit lower. Even lower than that? Yeah. The actual number of men who married an older woman is 22, not lower. And Sadell, very close, but this time you have it. And the challenger plays the tiebreaker with a three. Three, okay. Higher. Higher than a three. A four. Okay, higher. We have a new champion if this is higher than a four. Yes, we do. Sadell wins two in a row in the championship. Stephanie, our congratulations. You played very well, leaving us with $1,500. Stephanie Brown, good luck with your medical study. Thank you, Stephanie. And Sadell, come on down here. Come on, and congratulations. Thank you. Sadell Wiener goes for the big money right after this commercial break. Congratulations. Thank you.